Hey guys, Molly Marie here with BootyShorts.com and I help women's portrait photographers turn their portrait photography business into a six-figure business. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a really quick way to use ImageNomic Portraiture, which is an editing tool for photographers and we're gonna hop right into it so let's get started so right now I just have Photoshop open and I'm going to go ahead and drag the image that I want to work on um, into Photoshop and one thing I have to say is when you're you know obviously you're probably shooting in raw camera raw which you should be and image dynamic portraiture is what you're going to do on your images once you've already worked with them in raw so um, I have already saved this image as a JPEG image, and that is what I'm working with. So what I'm going to do is, and just so you guys know, I'm working on a PC, um, but I'm going to go ahead and hit Control A, which is going to select my image. Otherwise, you can go to, um, let's see here, I haven't done this in a while, select all, um, but I just do Control A, and then I'm going to go ahead and do Control C, Control V, which is going to copy and paste the layer. Otherwise, you could select the whole layer and then uh, do the copy and paste from the menu up top. Now what I'm going to do is, if you would like ImageNomic Portraiture, it is a plugin for Photoshop. So you have to go to their website um, and install it into Photoshop. And once it's installed, you'd go to Filter, ImageNomic Portraiture, and then you are going to click on if you want it to be uh, medium smoothing, uh, normal smoothing or high smoothing. Now I found that medium is what works for me, but you can uh, try, you know, the different various settings and see what works best for you. You can also kind of fine tune your settings over here on the left. Um, I actually have done none of that. All I did was just click on medium um, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And just so you guys know, uh, my computer is going to be a little bit slow because I'm running this software that I'm recording the video on, uh, but it actually loads really, really quickly. So uh, you just click the smoothing that you want and it's going to go ahead and do the magic. And remember that we had created a second layer. So if you look over here, uh, I'm going to zoom in and kind of show you guys what it's done here. So uh, the top layer is the edited layer and the bottom layer is the original layer. So if I toggle off the top layer, you're going to be able to see this is what the original layer looked like. So you can see um, like her skin as it isn't as smooth. Um, there's a little bit of shininess here and there from the lighting or the makeup or whatnot. Um, so this is what the smoothing looks like. I'll just toggle it on and off again so you guys can see one more time. So as you can see, it was super easy. All I had to do was um, select the image, copy and paste it to create a second layer, and then run ImageNomic. Now once you've run it, you want to go over here to your eraser tool. Make sure that it is at 100%. And you want to erase around the parts that you want in full focus. So you want to erase around the eyes, the lips, and I always do uh, the hairline. Sometimes I'll do like jewelry or anything else that I want to be in focus. Um, and then I will go ahead and flatten the layer. Now this tutorial is on ImageNomic Portraiture, so this is where the tutorial would end. However, I'm gonna show you guys the other things that I would do to this image to finish it off. Now I would go over here to, oh, let's see here, my clone stamp tool. I want it to hover so you, there we go, clone stamp tool. Um, and I'm gonna go at about 30, that's usually what I go at for skin here. I'm gonna make this a little bit larger. And I'm going to hit Alt, and then I'm going to click to select some skin here because I wanna get rid of this shininess. I'm not a huge fan of that. So I'm just hitting Alt on another piece of skin around there, um, selecting that, clone stamping it onto uh, the parts that are shiny or whatnot. Um, I might even do a little bit up here on the forehead to kind of smooth it out a little bit. Uh, the other thing I would do is this line right here. I'm actually going to go add in, in at it about 80%. Um, and I'm just going to clone stamp that out. Oops. And maybe a little bit more here. And a little bit less there. <laughs> All right, and 
as you can see, uh, that is looking a lot better. So that is the tutorial for imagenomic portraiture and a little bit of clone stamping to finish off the image. This is really going to help you get your editing uh, done in a lot less time. It's going to help you to be able to do those same day viewing and ordering sessions if you'd like to and just cut back on the amount of time you're spending at your computer and editing. So again, this was Molly Marie with BootyShorts.com. That's B-O-U-D-I-E Shorts.com. Really hoped you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will chat with you again soon.